have you ever been in the main event of WrestleMania before? Because I'm pretty sure I done did all of that. I'm not done. The story is unfinished, but a lot of good stories have a lot of pages. The Miracle! Damn it, you need to acknowledge me. Cody Rhodes. He became the first man in 26 years to win back-to-back -back Royal Rumble matches, joining an elite class that includes Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. It came as a bit of a shock because a lot of people felt the odds on favorite going in was the returning CM Punk. And right behind him, the other favorite was Cody. As for Cody, he has proved over the last couple of years exactly why WWE put him in the spot he's in, jumping over from all wrestling. You aren't going to see many people saying he doesn't deserve this or hasn't earned it. Of course, winning the Rumble means you get the world title match at Mania, something Cody got to do last year in Los Angeles. And it seems like we have no doubt about where he's going and who he's going after. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns, watched from a suite above the stadium audience, captivated by who awaits him as a challenger at the show of shows. And it's Cody Rhodes who made it clear who he was going after. Roman can't believe it! There's a big difference between this story with Cody and Roman this year as compared to last year. When Cody and Roman began their road to WrestleMania 39 in California, there was a formality to it at the beginning, but the animosity was stirred by Roman and, of course, his associate Paul Heyman provoking Cody's father's name. You, Cody, were his favorite son. The American dream Dusty Rhodes, who decades earlier attempted and through a technicality was not able to become WWE Champion. But Roman Reigns was the son he always wanted. Of course, these personal comments seethed into Cody, but he had a measured response. It's almost like the animosity between Cody and Roman intensified after their match at WrestleMania 39, where Cody Rhodes was close to finishing the story set out by his father decades before him to bring the title to the family mantle, only for Roman Reigns and his family to retain it through another barrage of outside interference. When is the last time Roman won a match with no interference from the bloodline? Yeah, can we acknowledge that? The following night on Monday Night Raw, Cody Rhodes demanded an immediate rematch from Roman Reigns. It was clear that they were setting the stage for Roman to retain that title for a long time. And by a long time, we mean all the way to WrestleMania 40. I was at WrestleMania 39. Walking out of SoFi, everyone knew that Roman was keeping that belt to at least another mania. But recently, there seemed to be a wrench thrown into the plans in the form of... Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Finally, yes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. A few weeks before it was announced that he would become a board member of TKO, the company that owns WWE, a majority of it, he dropped a bombshell, teasing a match against his fellow Samoan bloodline family member, Roman Reigns, making it clear that he wanted to also be the head of the table, making everybody believe that Cody was no longer the main event man to challenge at WrestleMania. Once The Rock made the big media tour when he joined the board of TKO, he kind of sort of teased the fact that he would prefer a slow burning, or cooking in this matter, longer build up to a match against Roman Reigns, proclaiming that it could be the biggest WrestleMania of all time which now might be WrestleMania 41, or maybe another show that isn't WrestleMania. For one, The Rock vs. Roman Reigns is having the undisputed Universal Championship as a prize isn't exactly reasonable when really the head of the table and that title and who leads the family might be more of their motivation for a personal clash and not just a championship clash. Or maybe that's something we get on WrestleMania night too. Yeah, Roman for two nights? 
Secondly, it would have been extremely unfair to Cody Rhodes to take away the spot that a lot of fans feel he has earned and they are invested in seeing him earn. Can you imagine another year of Roman Reigns as a Universal Champion? Because the entire Bloodline story has just about reached its peak at the end of SummerSlam 2023. Some people thought it peaked there, but it's still been going. The machine of WWE is still red hot and Roman Reigns is still one of the central figures in it. But how much longer can they keep it going in the modern era of media consumption? Can you stretch it out that long? Getting back to the central point here, Cody and Roman. WWE should get their flowers for how they've handled this since WrestleMania. Some people are fickle and say, gimme, gimme, gimme now. Well, WWE knows that, as you see with Rock and Roman, the long tease with the big payoff means a whole lot. They've been limited to a handful of selective interactions between these two titans and the big clash, the big rematch means more because of the distance that has been put between them with one mainly being on Raw and one mainly being on SmackDown. Unlike last year, there's a lot to play off of. The distance has now been closed and we're likely to get a whole two months of buildup this time around. Overall, this may be one of the most exciting WrestleMania cards we've seen in years. With just two months remaining before the grandest stage of them all, we could be set for truly one of the greatest roads to a WrestleMania we've seen in quite some time. Roads? Like, like Cody Rhodes? Get it? For Cody Rhodes, it is time to finish his story, his family's story finishes in Philadelphia. It is simple, it is straightforward, it is storytelling completion and satisfaction at his finest. A pristine moment in the city of brotherly love and he gets to win it all. He ends the biggest title reign in modern wrestling history he sends Roman Reigns down from his mountain of majestic manipulation of those around him. The master of puppets gets his strings cut out and Cody Rhodes finishes the story. That's what we need to see at WrestleMania 40. Just imagine the reaction, the pure collective electricity when Cody pins Roman and ends this title reign and becomes the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Unless, of course, WWE decides they want more Roman Reigns and he's gotta break Hulk Hogan's 1,474 day reign as WWE Champion. He's gotta break a, a record. That's the whole reason they would want him to keep a title at the biggest show of the year. Stop saying that like it's absolutely a defining factor of this whole thing brother. But it's unlikely to happen. It seems like all roads lead to a new champion at WrestleMania 40. We could be wrong. There's no better time and place for the story to finally be completed, though, than WrestleMania. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Does it need to end for Roman? Is Cody the right guy? Sound off.